so f***ing tired of being the strong, independent, resilient one all the time. It's f***ing exhausting. It is so f***ing exhausting and draining. I'm so uninterested in men, but I also want a man so bad. I'm happy and I love my life. But if it was so goddamn lonely. Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope you are all doing well. So on today's episode, we have an absolutely hilarious one for you here today. We have a series of women who are regretting feminism. Why? Because they end up single and alone, guys. And of course, this kind of stuff is very funny to watch because they spend their whole lives hating men. They uh, spend their whole lives saying that they're strong and independent and that they don't need a man. But when push comes to shove, you know, when the biological clock is ticking or a bill shows up, of course, we need men. So let's jump into today's episode. As always, don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. And just a pre-warning as well, if you hear any piano over these sad videos, which again, are quite funny, um, that's not me adding it in. That's the woman adding it in for your sympathy. So let's take a listen. I'm so sick of being told that I should be happy single. I don't want to be. I want to be in love. I want to be sickening to everyone around us. I want to adore them and I want them to adore me. I want to find my person. I want to love them and I want them to love me. I have so much of myself to pour into someone. And right now I feel empty. It shouldn't be this hard to find love. But all I find myself doing is scrolling through stupid dating apps, finding stupid men who just want sex. And I'm so sick of it. So a question to the audience, okay? This is a woman who is, you know, she's really sick of not finding her man, her Prince Charming. I wonder how many dudes she's actually been with from these dating applications because you always see these women complain, oh, men only don't, you know, want one thing. I guarantee you there has been a series of chads where she didn't mind having that one thing with him, okay? But now, you know, after we've had our fun to whatever tolerance we may have for that, uh, we want to settle down. We want to have a relationship. And these, these women, they never really get over those super attractive dudes from Tinder. They always complain about it and say that they want a man, but at the end of the day, they usually go running back to those exact same men. So I, I always laugh at these videos because these women, they could have their Prince Charming, but they would prefer to screw around with dudes who clearly don't want them on dating applications, right? But hey, you know, you're strong and independent. Bravo. You're really empowered. Um, carry on, madam. You're doing a great job. Why is it so hard to find love? so f***ing tired of being the strong, independent, resilient one all the time. It's f***ing exhausting. It is so f***ing exhausting and draining to act like everything is okay all the time when you are absolutely f***ing breaking inside. Is it just me or am I? See, these are the kind of videos that I find really funny. What on earth is happening here? This is a, this is a thumbnail shot and a half if I've seen one. Um, but you know, guys, like what's the, I don't see what the problem here is okay you're strong and independent why why would you need a man you know you're doing fantastic you're recording your tiktok videos in here in your car um you're obviously a very happy person if you listen to the rest of your tiktoks so I don't really see what the problem is here you know you're strong and independent you don't need a man so like as far as I'm concerned I don't know you guys let me know in the comments are you seeing a problem I don't see a problem here this is exactly what you wanted absolutely exactly what you wanted speaking inside is it just me or am i like in the point of my life where like i'm so uninterested in men but i also want a man so bad like i want a man so bad but i'm so uninterested like every man that comes my way i don't respond i don't flirt back i i just don't care like i don't care to put forth the energy like i don't a nice man has came my way and i still just been like Cool, cause I'm good. But then I lay in my bed at night alone, and I want a man so bad. So like, what's wrong with me? I can't. See, what's wrong with you is uh, you're insane, madam. You're insane. Okay, you would rather go out there and enjoy the streets and go from guy to guy and chase the butterflies and chase men who don't want you than to actually have something uh, committed and serious. And I feel absolutely no sympathy for these women, women, excuse me, whatsoever, 
right? Because again, these women, they become content for my channel. This same woman who says that she doesn't need a man will check back in with her in a few months time. And you know, there'll be a series of videos that get worse than this of her crying, saying that she's upset because she doesn't have a man and she doesn't have someone who's going to look after her and take care of her, right? We want to go out there. We want to have our fun. But, you know, I'm sad when a bill comes. I'm sad when I'm alone at night. I'm sad when, you know, I need someone to do something for me. I wish I had that provider guy. I've got the, I've got the going out there and enjoying the streets part down fine. But, you know, I need a guy who's going to make me feel loved and protected. And I have no idea why a man would want to make a woman like this feel loved and protected. But that's a question for another time. Let's continue. Crying. Um, I'm happy and I love my life. But I feel so goddamn lonely and it terrifies me. Everyone's getting married or having kids and starting a new chapter in their life with their friends and whatnot. And I'm just here on my own, in my own home, working and surviving. And I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's just me who's experiencing this. But I just feel so lonely <laughs> and it's scary. See, again, right, I don't understand where the part is that I'm supposed to care or feel sorry for women like this. Oh, all of my friends are starting a new chapter in their life. They're all getting married. They're all having kids. They're all um, going on and doing these new exciting things. But hey, ma'am, you know, you got to have your fun throughout your 20s. You got to meet up with random men off of dating applications. Um, you don't, you're strong, you're independent, you don't need no man. So in every single one of these cases, it's kind of like, well, this is exactly what you asked for. It kind of reminds me, I was thinking about this earlier today, guys, right? I try not to think about these videos outside of when I'm recording because, you know, I don't want to think about these people. These people their existence annoys me. So I try not to think about them any more than I have to, right? So when I stop recording, I try not to think about these videos. I think there's something to be gleaned from these videos and they're quite entertaining. And they also serve to warn men of a lot of dangers in modern day relationships. But I don't like to be thinking about this garbage all day. Um, but I was thinking about this particular scenario a little bit earlier. And it kind of reminds me, these women who get to 30 and they're like, man, I wish I had kids. I wish I had a family. I wish I had a husband. It's kind of like handing in your homework a decade late. You know, you, you, tr you try and hand in your homework and then the teacher says, hey, listen, um, you know, we're not, it's, there's a cutoff point, okay? We weren't, we're not handing in, uh, excuse me, we're not taking assignments anymore. You're too overdue. We just can't accept it. So we're going to have to grade you a, a very low grade. This is essentially what these women are doing when they're looking for families. It's like, oh, yes, okay, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And now it's like, oh, maybe I should start looking for a husband. Sorry, almost a decade late, right? You, you want to go from 20 years of age, so 20, 21, 22, all the way to 30, 31. And then you want to try and have kids and start freezing eggs and all of this nonsense. You're just trying to hand in your homework too late, madam. I'm going to have to grade you really low. Let's continue. Oh, this is going to be a, this is going to be a terrible one. I want my own man. <laughs> Sensational. Have you guys noticed that some of my videos have gone missing over here on YouTube? That is because I am slowly moving them over to locals where I can actually host them without the risk of getting in trouble. If you are not aware, many creators are starting to move over to places like locals, rumble, etc. Because YouTube is not really a free speech platform. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to videos that are no longer available here, make sure that you come and join us over on locals. The link will be in the video description down below. Supporters get access to their own exclusive videos that are no longer available to the public. So make sure you go to the link in the description and join us over there now. But anyway, guys, back to today's episode. I'm just <laughs> Oh, jeez, man. I See, I don't know how dudes put up with these women at all. Like, that was like three seconds in and I've already got to pause the video. Let's just get it out of the way. Why the fuck am I fucking with somebody that fucked with somebody else? Why the fuck would you tell me that? Why the fuck when you tell me that? I want my own man. I have reached. That woman's accent 
is worse than mine. I, I have no idea what the hell she was saying. All I he heard here was screaming that she wants a man, and then she got violent towards the end. See, again, these are the kinds of women who are incredibly abusive towards men, but nobody gives a crap, right? Because if a woman's violent, it's somehow funny, and it's quirky, and it's funny. You, you know, like, everybody will brush over this. Like, if this woman goes out here and does some awful things to dudes because she's clearly a very violent person, nobody's going to care. You know, I just hope that men avoid women like this. Let's jump into the next one here. Do this life thing alone. I just want to be held, nurtured, loved, cared for, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, in all aspects. I want my heart and soul to be seen and held. I just can't do it alone anymore. And I'm. I don't know why these women constantly bring up spirituality and the soul, uh, implying that they have either of those things. Like, you're a 30 year old unmarried woman who's done some pretty degenerate crap all throughout her life. I'm going to assume here, if you're making videos about complaining of being lonely at 30 plus years of age, and you want to talk to me about spirituality and the soul. Uh, I don't, I don't know about that one, man. But <laughs> I don't think so. Really don't think so. Emotionally, spiritually, mentally, in all aspects. I want my heart and soul to be seen and held. I just can't do it alone anymore, and I'm at my breaking point. I can't do it physically alone. I've been doing it, but I don't want to. I don't deserve to because I am worthy of companionship. Of Says who? Like, wh where does this entitlement come from? It's got to be because of the amount of attention they get from social media and random clowns, right? Who says you deserve a relationship? Who says you deserve something? This deserve word has just got to go out of so many people's vocabulary. I think it's funny because when men are younger, right? When men are like 18, 19, 20, etc., and they start to go out there in the world of dating and jobs and they start, you know, really working, right? Try, trying to bring home some serious money to have a family and things like this. Men understand very quickly that nobody gives a crap right? That you don't deserve anything. You have to work from the ground up, whether that means you start, you know, you start your job way earlier, or you grind through the education that's necessary, even though a lot of education these days is total garbage, guys, let's be honest. But you know, you go out there, you get your apprenticeship or whatever, you try working, you get your jobs. From the very start, men understand that nobody cares unless you have something whether that be experience or whatever the case may be, status, etc. Whether you're good looking, you've been hitting the gym for a long time, nobody cares, okay, until you have something. Every, everything has to be earned. Nothing is deserved simply because you exist. I think men get a good grasp on this fairly early on. But these women will get to 30 and they will still have no idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because everything was handed to them throughout their entire life. They're like, you know what? I deserve this. And I'm just sitting here thinking, Says who? Like, really, says who? I don't understand. I don't deserve to because I am worthy of companionship, of community, of love, of affection, of support, of someone lifting me up, motivating me, encouraging me. I who? Who? What on earth is this delusion? I'm worthy of this. I'm worthy of that. I'm worthy of all this garbage, right? I need someone to motivate me, which basically just means she wants a successful guy. Can you guys imagine if dudes were out here making videos like this? <laughs> like how ridiculous you would look, but this kind of stuff just completely flies on TikTok. Want to. I don't deserve to because I am worthy of companionship, of community, of love, of affection, of support, of someone lifting me up, motivating me, encouraging me. I am worthy of that. So I deserve to receive that. I don't want to do it alone anymore. And I've been crying all day. Can we? Uh, she says here before this video ends, right? I've been crying all day because of it. I don't care. I like straight up do not care. Videos like this where you have women crying in their cars. But let me tell you something, guys, a little bit of a secret here, which is not a secret at all, because anyone with common sense understands this. If you have someone who's crying on social media, it is for attention. I, I don't care what nobody says, right? The these people who are making these videos saying I'm crying or they're crying during the video. Real tears happen in private. They don't happen on camera for the public to see. 
You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you can enjoy your uh, fishing for sympathy, but I personally think it's rather pathetic. Let's jump to the next clip. Can we talk about how I crave to be cuddled? How I crave to just be like, can I just like kiss someone? Can I just like hold someone? Hold me. Jerry. I need a big boy. Anyways, <laughs> I just, I just want to be held. And to be honest with you, like. I could go out and get that shit right now. Like, I could respond to a DM right now and be like, let's meet up, let's go Netflix and chill, and, like, let me get it satisfied. But that's temporary satisfaction, and we are big girls, and we don't do that. We don't, we don't fucking do that. See, the, the tears. Uh, so here's the thing, madam. You do do that. I guarantee you that this woman has done that before. She's replied to her DMs. She's done the Netflix and chill, right? But now she wants something more serious. And see, this is where the problem starts. This is where issues start to happen. Because when you start to ask commitment for commitment from men, men can just say no. In the same way that you can say no to bedroom fun, which you should, you know, congratulations to you if you have been doing that, which I highly doubt. But, you know, you, you are able to say no. That is absolutely your right. You can sit there and you can say, no, I don't want to do this with you. That's totally fine. But also, guess what? Men can say no when you ask for their commitment. And it doesn't matter how much you whine. It doesn't matter how much you complain or you think that you deserve it. The man, at the end of the day, decides whether or not you are worth the relationship. And if you are posting TikToks where you are half naked, where you are talking about your escapades, okay? Men are not going to sit here and be like, wow, that's a fantastic choice for my wife. No, they're going to say, that's a fantastic choice for a weekend of fun, and now I'm going to leave because she's insane. That's what's going to happen to you. You're, you're essentially, women don't understand. The, these girls who get on these platforms and make these videos understand. Men will very quick, quickly categorize you. In the same way that women will categorize men, men will sit here and they will go, nope, nope, nope. Like I would have fun, but I'm not going to have a relationship with you. Men will put you into one of these two boxes. They will either say, listen, She's for commitment, right? Or she's for absolutely nothing. And when you make videos like this, you very quickly get put into the, the box of like, no, just for fun only, right? And that's for the dudes who are out there choosing to date. You've got a whole nother group of dudes who are like, I don't want any of it. I, I don't want to deal with you at all. But those are the two boxes that dudes will put you in. So, you know, you can ignore that if you want. That's totally fine. But just don't come crying when you can't get commitment from a man. Or if you do, make sure to post it online so I can make a video about it and laugh. <laughs> and I'm ambitious. And it seems to be something that is, like, desired because it's like, I don't know, a prize to be won. But then once I actually open up in, like, in the dating world and, like, let someone in, then they get bored or they just they don't see the value and I was passed up on an opportunity this week as well um and then also the guy I was dating um it just I guess didn't work <laughs> us as humans need our little person but I don't want temporary anymore. I'm done with temporary. I'm ready for long-term commitment. And that's what none of our generation is up for. See, this is exactly what I was saying. What did I tell you guys, right? I told you. She went through, she had her fun with the random dudes. She engaged in the Netflix and chill. But now she wants something more serious. I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that. Right? If you want to go out there and Netflix and chill, I always say this. That is totally fine. Hey. You're in life, you're in decisions. I don't care. Just stay away from me. I don't want diseases, right? Go out there, do what you want to do. Don't breathe on me, right? But the thing is, now she wants to go and do that. And she wants to come back and say, well, now I want a relationship. I don't think so. I don't think so, right? And people will say, well, that's a really mean thing, really mean thing to say. Excuse me, you know, why wouldn't you have a relationship with a woman who's uh, gone out and had a bunch of Tinder escapades? 
And that's because it's a very bad idea. And the reason why it's a very bad idea is because you can look at things like, I'll, I'll use a marriage statistic as an example, okay? If you have a woman who has got, who has got like 10 partners, she's been with 10 different dudes, right? Which is a low ball for this generation, mind you. If you have a woman who has gone through 10 different dudes and now she wants a long-term relationship in the form of a marriage, for example, that marriage statistically is absolutely doomed. The odds of you losing your crap in that marriage or that marriage ending in a divorce are very significant compared to if the girl has zero to one partners, preferably zero before you. Okay, these, mar these marriages, these long-term relationships, they fall apart because what happens is these women, they go out, they have their fun, and then they try and settle down and they get bored and they remember that dude who they used to be with, right? And how he had this thing that she's now missing out on. And then she decides that she deserves better and she goes out to chase a guy like that again, right? Always chasing the novelty. That's one of the main reasons the dudes that want to do that. Also, it's really embarrassing. Can you guys imagine, you know, you date a woman, you take her seriously, and then you guys go out to dinner one night and lo and behold, you see two of the dudes or one of, one of the dudes that she used to be with who didn't even have to commit to her at all, but here you are buying her a dinner. It's embarrassing. Why should a man you know, invest into you and pay for you because that's what ends up happening, let's be honest. Why should a man invest into you when another man didn't have to? No thanks. Up for. No one. No one in this shit. All right? Especially where I'm at. Especially where I live. There's no one. And it fucking sucks. And then it makes me just think about like the shit that I've been through and then it just makes me think about like how my sons like they don't have a legit family i mean wow look at that single mother i haven't watched this video but this woman is a single mother so now she so let me get this straight this is a single mother who's quite young it seems like but it's very hard very hard to tell with the makeup and the filters she's had a couple of kids one or two sons apparently and now she's out there and now she's trying to find a good man who to settle down with no no thank you have fun. No, thanks. How my sons, like, they don't have a legit family. I mean, they have a great family, like, of me, but I mean, like, they don't have the mom and dad in the same household, is what I'm saying. And that sucks. That, that sucks a lot. People meet people nowadays. Being a single gal in this single world, where do I go if I don't want to go on dating apps? Like, I don't like dating apps. I've had them. I've tried them. I get disappointed. I get discouraged. It, let's be honest. Let's be real. Dating apps, if you're going to think this person is attractive, you're probably going to swipe yes. And if you don't find them attractive, you're going to swipe no. But sometimes people just aren't photogenic. They just don't present themselves well through photos. That's why I just feel like it's so much better to meet people in person. Also, just like with having dating apps, like it just feels forced. And I don't want it to feel forced. I want to like go out in public, meet someone like in the wild, both just happen to bump into each other and you're like, <gasps> and then, you know, sparks fly. That I just want to know where, like, where do the single men go? Yeah, see, this whole bumping into somebody and being approached by men and doing things the traditional way, this is pretty much dead. And you can actually thank women for that because men don't need to do this anymore. Men don't need, number one, men don't need to approach you. They can just go on dating applications. And if they're attractive enough, if they've hit the gym, if they understand what aperture and photos is, okay, in photography is, they can make some nice photos or some pretty bouquet, okay, and uh, look good. And they don't have to date you. They don't have to go up and talk to you. They don't have to do things the traditional way. Why? Because there are women on these dating applications who are just going out there and getting with dudes. Which, by the way, you were probably one of them, but now you've had enough. So, you know, you can thank women for this, by the way. Enjoy your dating applications. Enjoy your hookup culture because you are the enablers of hookup culture. If you were to sit there and say, no, I don't want to hook up with random dudes, then this crap wouldn't, wouldn't be as far as it is. It really wouldn't. Because dudes would say, well, I, you know, I have to go out and talk to women now. But men don't have to talk to women. If you're an attractive guy, you can get a dating application and have all of the fun that you want. So, you know, it is what it is. That's number one. And number two, talking to women for men is actually a risk these days. Thanks to things like the uh, Me Too movement, you now have the ability for women to just go out and complain saying that men, a man did something wrong and all of a sudden his life is ruined. So why would a guy risk his social reputation talking to some random woman 
who can honestly just ruin his life if she wanted to, when he can just go on a dating application, have some fun and leave. See, the problem is you've kind of screwed yourself here. You see what you've done? Men don't have to do this anymore. All right, where are all the chivalrous men gone? There's a saying, which is that chivalry is dead and women killed it. And I absolutely believe that. Where are you going? Where are you hanging out? Because, like, if you're in the garage, like, come out. Like, are you at the lake? Are you snowmobiling? Are you fishing? It's winter time. What are you doing right now? <laughs> it's funny. How am I this amazing? Like, and single? Like, are you kidding me? Are what is this narcissism, man? Wow, she's like, I'm this amazing and I'm still single. These people need a reality check. Like, I'm watching this video and, and, you know, my blood pressure is rising, okay? I'm feeling myself getting steadily more stressed, <laughs> you know? And you're expecting a dude to have a relationship with you? Step one, probably don't scream into a camera to the public that you're amazing. I, th I think that would probably help your case a little bit here. <laughs> it's funny and how am i this amazing like and single like are you kidding me and like for the longest time i just like wasn't worried about it at this point i'm like i'm 31 what is happening like is there just no one left put me on a dating show the bachelor the bachelorette love island i don't even care just put me somewhere so i can actually like interact with the male race I'm not interacting with males. <laughs> Anyways, <let's... laughs> this video is just absolutely headache inducing. Notice he there, right? I, I kind of zoned out towards the end there. Notice how she says, you know, I wasn't too concerned about it, but now I am concerned about it. Translation, my biological clock is ticking and I still don't have a man. I'm approaching 35. I'm becoming infertile. The risk of a geriatric pregnancy has exponentially increased. And now I'm stressed because I don't have a man. So it's all fun and games, guys. It is all fun and games until the body clock starts to tell you differently, until you actually start to need a man, until you realize that you don't want to work until you're 50 or 60 years of age, um, until you realize that you're still saddled with debt. And notice how, again, I make this point a lot, but it's actually not about caring about men. Right? It's not about finding someone who she can love and respect and in her own capacity look after to some degree, right? who she can provide some value to. It's, it's, there's no talk about giving to another person or caring for another person, caring for a man. None of that. It's all, here's what I need. I'm out of time. Somebody help me. Right? A man is supposed to help me. That's what I find just really crazy about these videos is you very, very rarely, in fact, I don't think I've really seen one video where it's like you know here's I, i'm interested in a man because because of x reason and that reason isn't self-serving i don't think i've seen a video like that maybe i have but i i'm going back through now and i don't think i have that's crazy somewhere so i can actually like interact with the male race i'm not interacting with males <laughs> anyways <let's... laughs> love comes to you when you least expect it shut up I have been trying to not expect it for like six years. And also I was speaking to my friend the other day and she was like, well, like, are you like trying to like go out of your way to meet people? I'm like, no, because people are fucking telling me that it comes when you least expect it. So here I am like trying to convince myself I don't want it and I'm just not expecting it so I can get it and it's not happening. But then even when I go out of my way to like go on dating apps, it just never works because these people that I'm meeting aren't, my cup of tea are not wanting what i want they just want a casual thing and like as as someone who's never been in any kind of romantic entanglement i'm my first my first relationship is not going to be a fucking casual relationship and again so she says that she doesn't want her first relationship won't be a casual one but let me ask the question guys do you think that she's had casual encounters before this i would probably say yes Again, like we want to have all the casual fun, but then we want a relationship out of a man after the fact. And this is what happens when these women jump on dating applications, by the way, is these attractive dudes who are sitting on these applications, they can have fun with all of these women. They have absolutely no reason to commit, but all of the average men are completely invisible to women like this. Completely invisible. So she'll ignore the majority of men, but you know she'll sit here and she'll complain when she can't get out a relationship out of the man that she really wants. 
And the problem is the man that she really wants is also desired by a lot of other men. So, you know, have fun, madam. Maybe lower your standards and humble yourself a bit and you might actually get somewhere. Guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace.